It's my night to make dinner, so let's go check out the local supermarket. Let's go take a look at some of the products and prices that exist here in Japan and stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to make a healthy Japanese style dinner. So the first thing you notice is that they have these baskets instead of having bigger shopping carts. As a point of reference, one US dollar is currently equal to 105 Japanese yen. So to keep it simple, 100 yen basically equals one American dollar. One apple here is 178 yen. Four bananas for 138. Mandarin oranges, one pack of strawberries, 498 yen. These are from Fukuoka, south of Japan. Muscat, Muscat grapes. This pack is 2,041 yen about twenty dollars these kind of mushrooms go good in them soups or nabe this is the soup stock that you would use for a hot pot. These are Japanese sweet potato. Really delicious when you heat it up. Toaster oven or over a fire. Three cucumbers for a hundred yen. And this is the, the kanji you want to look for. This means half price, hangaku. So that's always a good sign to see. And here we just have some common vegetables, potatoes. So it's always just a smaller portion than you would get in North America, that's for sure. So there's only four potatoes in a bag for 198 yen. These are very cheap. These are Moyashi bean sprouts. 39 yen for a bag. So this is definitely cheap. Also goes nice in soups. Here are very tiny fish, chili men. These are dried out, used in rice balls or toppings. Not a big fan of these. 
but you can see they got many kinds. Some are flavored more of soy sauce and other flavorings. This one has a bit of a sweeter, sugary flavoring to it and sesame added. Nice fresh fish, and a lot of it's 20% off, 30% off. This is from Chile. This one seems to be from Russia. And here, these fish are from Norway. So a lot of fresh sashimi, a lot of good fresh fish at this supermarket. That's pretty good value here. This is 980 yen for this amount. And I have to make dinner tonight, so I'm going to make a healthy, simple dinner, but not using frozen foods, some of the uh, cooked foods at this supermarket. So, this is already cooked and it's reheated and it's from chili, but it's really delicious salmon for 298, 298 yen. So that means seaweed. This is the seaweed corner. Some of this you just put on your rice or just eat it with on the side of rice and just showing you can mix it with beans, different ways to eat it. Very popular often with uh, vinegar flavoring added. Is the meat section. So, chicken breast. Two hundred and ninety five yen. Here is some minced meat. This is sixty percent beef, forty percent. Pork, 349, uh, 347 grams for 409 yen. And here they're selling the gyoza wrappers when you make it at home. The gyoza skins. You get 50 for 170 yen. The butcher shop in the back.
processed meats, cold cuts. It's always just basically ham. And it's always a small portion. So you hear, you only have five slices of ham for 189 yen. Here's some nice cuts of meat, of steak. Very small portion for 1,587. These are more for the sukiyaki or the hot plate. And here we come to a good spot because it's where they make the pre-made food that you can just buy and eat, bring home. Pretty good looking okonomiyaki here. Three hundred ninety-eight shrimp and chili sauce. Nice Japanese omelette. Ichiwari means 10% off. For my menu, I'm gonna add some potato salad. And this is like a type of seaweed called hijiki. This is quite tasty actually and very healthy. I'm gonna add this to the menu. And some Japanese pumpkin. And here's an interesting thing about loaves of bread in Japan. Here's a 10 slice. Eight slice. But the most common amount of bread is these little, either six slices, five slices or four slices. So cereals are a bit of a disappointment sometimes because there's not many. This is it. This is the cereal corner. Most of it is kind of like granola or you have sort of like a cornflake. This is actually called cornflake frosted. So like a frosted flake imitation here. These are good. Macadamia nuts covered with chocolate. Almonds covered with chocolate. It's a popular brand. You get 
Sparked Canna Snickers. And Kit Kat is very popular as well. Various potato chips. Chewing gums. about a liter of milk. It's a liter of milk. Japanese milk is very rich, tasty, and it's 198 yen for one liter here. Soy milk. Some of them have flavoring, but in Japan most soy milk is basically just the natural soy taste. Just soybeans. Soybeans are from Canada and America. So they got some alcohol here, of course, and this supermarket has a second floor where they even have a bigger selection of alcohol, but this is all Japanese sake. One cup. Six pack of beer. 1,008 yen. How most people make curry at home. This is called Vermont curry and it's just like the uh, hard cube like a chocolate bar form of curry and it makes the uh, the curry just by adding water. It's pretty much pre-made. You just have to cut the vegetables. Coffee. This is a stick coffee, which just makes a cafe latte. Nescafe is very popular. And another popular type of coffee is where you just put the bag over your cup and it's like a drip coffee. This bag has 14 servings. Of course, regular ground coffee. And even sell Starbucks brand here. So, rather small bag, 160 grams, 665 yen. A lot of instant coffee.
Japanese green teas. various sauces for takoyaki or okonomiyaki or yakisoba, the famous foods that people even make at home. Heinz ketchup. 188 yen. Del Monte ketchup as well. Pasta. This one pack is 118 yen for an average size 500 grams of pasta. Not the greatest selection at this place. Go to the second floor and see some of the dry goods, frozen goods, and alcohol that they stock. So here we have the dry goods, and what we first have, which is quite a good selection here, is the wine and alcohol section is quite diverse here. Basically, there's some very cheap bo bottles. Like this one's only 528 yen from Chile. Generally, about a thousand yen. Gets you a bottle of wine. Here are some more expensive ones that are kept in the kind of cellar type temperature, I guess. This one is going for 3,580 yen. Not that expensive, but just keeping it proper temperature. So even more here. These are the sakes. So this massive, well, isho bin is 1.8 liters. Is a traditional size for sake, and they're all about 2,000 yen which is not expensive and they look very stylish. And I don't, to be honest, I don't know how they taste, but there's such a variety.
and then they get even cheaper when they put them in the the packs like this this is two liters for 1038 yen so that's very cheap for a lot of alcohol Suntory highball nine percent whiskey and a soda type drinks Budweiser This is an Okinawan brand from Okinawa, now made by Asahi. Ibisu is one of the better tasting brands. They have a, like a stout. And if you just want to sip a beer, this one always is fun to look at because just 135 milliliters. So it's like two sips of beer, maybe one, for 95 yen. And then they have a, beside it is the midsize, 250 milliliters. It's 165 for that one. And then this is the normal size, 350 milliliters for 180. And then, Kind of like a glass and a half, 500 milliliters, half a liter, 248. And if you buy this six pack, you get the cooler box included. Japanese are good at adding little extras. This one adds. If you buy this six pack, you get these spicy nuts. This one, you get the chicken ramen dry noodles. Here's a Suntory whiskey. 700 milliliters for 12, 1,280 yen. And this one's even cheaper. This is the Nika whiskey for 698 yen. So that's very cheap. Johnny Walker, the Totori. It's interesting. Totori is a part of Japan. So I'm not sure if they brewed it there or if it's just named that. I have to check that out. alcohol detergents and shampoos diapers toilet papers and kind of go through here I guess quickly more alcohol but they got a lot of frozen goods too. So this is Aji Fry. This is this breaded fish, ready to go, ready to be fried up. Potatoes, French fried potatoes. So that's a kilo, one kilogram of French fries for 298 yen and they got different cuts as well they got with the skin on them as well a bit bigger same price
dried vegetables, dried udon ramen noodles, udon noodles. Pizzas and pies, different kind of things. Quite a good selection of frozen foods, which I don't buy, but they have a lot. Dried noodles. So this is more like a yakisoba fried noodle. This is a ramen. And then you got a quite a quite a selection of dried noodles. Here's one that's quite famous. It's the cup noodle. It's a big size. And this is a very popular brand here in Kansai in maybe all of Japan. It's called UFO. It's like a yakisoba flavor. Pretty good ice cream selection as well. It's like a popsicle. And these are more like ice creams. Never seen this one before. Small donuts in French. Wow. So this is very cheap, small can of coffee for cold for 39 yen. I didn't buy much, but I just walked around a bit, which is always fun. And I'm gonna go home and make some miso soup and rice to add to what I bought here. And then let's see how much it costs me to make a healthy, pretty easy to make meal. I'm gonna go back down to the first floor and pay for my stuff. And now in Japan, as of July 2020, they charged you, they charge you everywhere, basically, for plastic bags. Up to now it's been free, but the government's trying to get people to use their own bags. So um, beyond that, it's pretty normal and sometimes you can do a self-checkout as well. And another food I need is natto, the fermented soybeans. So they got a big selection here. 30% off. We always seem to buy this one at my home. I don't know why, if it's just because it's the cheapest, but I'll just buy this one. And three packs for 98 yen. Choose cash. Okay, back home, time to make dinner. And here's what I bought at the store, the pre-made 
salads and natto and grilled salmon. It all come together for a healthy meal. Here are the ingredients for the miso soup. This is the dashi, which is like the consomme, the broth. This is the kombu, the dried seaweed, which will also be for the broth. This is the, of course, the miso paste, which is necessary. This is the tofu, which is actually deep fried already. And so it has a nice uh, kind of harder outer, outer layer. This is the leek the enoki mushroom, the shiitake mushroom, and the kamenegi, the onion. So this is what I'm gonna put into the miso soup today. So that the kombu and the dashi form the broth and then I'll put in the other ingredients. And then the last to go is the miso paste. And just let that get some flavor. Add the mushrooms and the tofu. My take mushrooms, my take. All the ingredients are in there. We got the leek, the onion, the tofu, the maitake, and the enoki mushrooms. And of course the dashi and kombu. Probably just need a little more water. And then last but not least will be the miso paste. And you don't want the miso to burn, so you just slowly blend it into the water. And lower the temperature, because you don't want to burn off the flavor of the miso. Okay, so here's natto. If I had a dime for every time, or I should say a dollar for every time someone asked me in Japan if I like natto, I'd be a rich man because they always assume foreigners won't like it. But uh, it kind of grows on you after a while. So you open up the pack and you have the hot mustard and you have like the ponzu sauce and here's the beans. Take a closer look at that. Very sticky. And you can see it's sticking to the top wrapper, that's why it's there. 
and it's fermented. So you know, there's health benefits, kind of like a cheese. The fermentation process makes it healthy, the back, good bacteria. So you have these ingredients. Sometimes people add chives or Korean kimchi as well. Just kind of makes for an interesting taste. And I once saw a Japanese TV show that said, recommended stirring it like this 100 times to improve the health benefits. I don't know if it activates the bacteria or they're just an old tail of some sort, but anyhow, the more you do stir it, the frothier it sort of gets. And I guess the flavors sort of do come to life a bit. And that's it. It looks kind of gross and it's sticky. Not so smelly, like I said, anymore. It doesn't really smell like anything, but um, a lot of protein and a lot of health benefits. So people actually really like this. I should say some people really like it, some people don't like it. But uh, it kind of grows on you after a while, it goes nice of rice. That is natto. Here is the somewhat easy meal, but it's healthy and not such a bad price. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and feel free to leave a comment.